Christmas in the Tasman Sea aboard Clara. All I seem to be missing is a Christmas turkey and some company. Uh, happy Christmas to all. Here we go. Oh, and off we go. Well, it floats. Oh, and it's sailing. Well, let's see what happens. Goodbye tender to Clara. See if you make it to New Zealand or anywhere else. We get to see some of those beautiful and remote parts of the world. To see but not to touch. Feel like a child. This is um, Stewart Island. Southwest Cape. I always wondered how fast a seal can swim. Seal chasing me, maybe he's after my log, or he's just being friendly. As ever, I think the camera will uh, completely flatten these waves. It's not going to look that uh, impressive or uh, alarming. Uh, and to be honest, it's not. Uh, the boat's handling it well. post knockdown or rogue wave attack uh, off Cape Horn. So what happened in the knockdown, the most, the, the critical item is the uh, hydrain uh, wind vane steering. Uh, looking a little depleted there. We've got some parts being flown in, but uh, customs as they are in Chile, uh, they're being flown in personally by my team wife and team manager Claire and joint team manager Paul are both coming out which is fantastic. Brilliant support from Howden's my uh, supporting partner in this venture uh, who, who are doing the logistics arranging all of that which is which is brilliant. So ultimately after two days of trying uh, I turned turned around and came uh, north uh, back up uh, back up the Pacific and in uh, a few days time I'll be returning back again doing all those miles again an extra couple of thousand miles just to add as if it wasn't far enough around the world with the Andes in the background eh? <laughs>